These are three zines that were like a little more limited. Kind of mixed random accidents and printmaking stuff. Once there's a pile of stuff, I would take it to copy places and just throw it on the copier. Different sized papers and sort of play with the way things overlap. And like these are some things I wrote and drew on some leaves. And Yeah, this one's kind of old. This is the first appearance of these characters I tried to do some comics with. See, I think this one was after that. This is kind of a loose stencil type thing with a paintbrush. It's hard to find now, but they used to go into staples and some of those copiers still had red ink in them. And you could switch, the, switch it over to, to the red ink and print some stuff out. But, um, I don't know, you know, it's funny, like, I don't really have a plan for these when I start them out, but they, I think in laying things out and sort of picking what can go next to another thing, it starts to form some sort of loose, uh, I don't know, not, not really a narrative, but maybe just like the relationship of one thing to the next, and for me, for me, it, there's something interesting. Like I feel, I almost feel like in the process of making them, I uh, kind of discover what I was making in the first place. <laughs> Cause you know, half the stuff I drew like while I was not paying attention. So. <laughs> this one is a little more recent. You know, there's kind of like, uh, this is all on old blueprint paper. So sometimes it's just like if I found a place that would make blueprints, then that, you know, I just go make this page and I don't know where it's going to end up. Or this uh, one time we borrowed a mimeograph machine at the old studio, so I made this page on a mimeograph. So it's kind of like, I can't make the zine a second time, and that's part of what's, you know, what's fun about about the whole process. This is the actual, that's the drawing that the installation kind of came from. So, my blueprint paper, trampoline champion. But. I think these three are kind of my favorites, even though they don't really have like stories. They just, um, I don't know, they, they felt the way I wanted them to feel. <laughs> 